Let's get Burger happy right now. Okay, check these out, guys. I mean, imagine being able to serve some of the best burgers you've ever had in your life. I am so honored and so excited to be here with acclaimed chef Wolfgang Puck. Here's the option. You have your choice of two packs, the 12-pack or the 24-pack. I will tell you right off the bat, the 24-pack is your absolute best value. It's $2 less per burger than the 12-pack. We also have auto ship available, too. Comes individually packaged. They're huge, juicy, Wagyu Kobe beef-style burgers that are out of this world. In fact, they're the exact same burger that acclaimed chef Wolfgang Puck serves when he does his famous Oscar party. And now everybody yeah. at home has a chance to have them too. Uh, Hi, no, chef. The same quality burger. You know what? <laughs> if you want good burgers, you have to start with good meat. And this is the best meat. It's like the Kobe style burger. We serve at the Academy Awards. So it's everybody's favorite. Now we serve small ones, like, but you could make them in half also, you know, and yeah. make little sliders like we do, or you have big ones. So yeah. the great thing is you're gonna have them at home whenever you want it, you know? The burger's gonna be ready, you take them out of the freezer. Some people even just put it on the grill with on the free, frozen too, you can yeah. do that too, and then, uh, get your bread, your sliced bread, whatever you had, and you're done. Fresh sliced tomatoes, yeah. put on a little mustard, put on a little onion, put a little cheese on it if you want. So, Chef, now this yeah. is so important because I want everybody to really realize the name you're seeing there, the Wagyu Kobe style beef burgers. Remember, this is the exact same burger that he serves to some of the most famous celebrities in the world. He's only going to pick the best for them, and I love it, Chef, because you're so passionate to pick the best for us. Chef is also famous for his incredible steakhouses that he has in yeah. Las Vegas. She just opened another one yeah, in... Exactly. We uh, just opened one in Riyadh, and guess yeah. what we serve? The burgers we have here, but <laughs> guess what we also do? And I don't know, you would eat them here, camel burgers. Okay, yeah. are they any good? It's good. Really, yeah, no it's kidding. Right, but you need a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, <laughs> uh, fat in it too, just <laughs> like when the beef is too dry, so. <laughs> Maybe that's next time. Yeah, <laughs> totally. All right, chef, so what's your favorite way to cook a burger? Tell well, us. I like to cook them in a grill pan on the barbecue outside. Okay. So right. then I like to toast my bread a little bit before, so that way it's nice and warm, but also it has more flavor and then you cook it the way you like it you know some people like their beef well done mm -hmm. some people like me I like it medium rare I always put a little ketchup a little Dijon mustard but you can use this yellow mustard or sometimes you put a little barbecue so you decide and naturally we have all the garnishes here too like onions, tomatoes, you name it, we have it. So you can do easily a little burger party in your backyard. Yeah, easy. And again, imagine you've got everybody coming over. It's for the 4th of July or it's for yeah. a birthday party or just a good old barbecue or you're at home on your own and you're like, I just want a delicious burger. Now understand the, the Wagyu Kobe style. Yeah. This is the most famous type of beef that you can get in the world. And like I said, what a treat, Chef, mm -hmm. that now all of us get to have that quality that normally costs a fortune. Now we're going to get that kind of burger in our own home, and we're doing it for pennies. By the way, Chef, yeah. this is pretty funny. We did a little research. Yeah. If you go through the most famous drive-thru in yeah. the world and get just a burger, we figured out it cost more than $5. Each of these great big burgers are less than what you pay for a really bad burger going through a drive-thru. You really want to go to that elevated, luxe level and just have a delicious, juicy burger. Ah! There's literally nothing better than that, really, yeah. especially in the summertime. Exactly, when you can cook outside, but also in the wintertime. I know my wife always makes hamburgers for our kids when I'm not at home. Mm -hmm. And when I make it, I always put enough fresh ground pepper on top. I think I like it a little spicy, so that's it. And then, just like that, sear it really well. And you know, I like my medium to medium rare, turn it over once, and you are done. And then, all you have to do, get your buns, your salad, get everything ready, and that's it. Chef, do you think people fits with their burgers too much when they're on the grill? 
Huh? Do you think people mess with their burgers too much with Yeah, it's so simple. Just put it on one side and on the other side. But what I wanted to show you too is the thickness of the patty. Can we get a close up here? Look at that. This is not like some fast food chain or anything like that. Can you see that? Look at the thickness of the patty Gorgeous. here. Gorgeous. I put a little pepper on here already because I'm ready for the next one. Yeah. And this is really the meat you taste it. You know, when it's so thin, you don't even know what it is. So right, right. let me finish my burgers here. Oh, this you is know getting I'm hot just, too here. You know I'm just waiting for one too. Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited to try this. All right, and you will see how juicy the inside is. Let me take this away. Maybe Marianne, you can take this one with you. All right. Oh. I'll bring you another one. Hi, Marianne. Hi, Hi Marianne. <laughs> okay, can I have tomato on mine, please, Chef? Okay, we're gonna put everything on for you. <laughs> okay, good. Okay. I don't we, want any onions on mine, though. <laughs> how about that Dijon mustard? Perfect, Dijon's perfect. Ketchup, perfect. A little Dijon mustard on all of them. Okay. All right, and a little ketchup. Gotta have ketchup. All right. And what else? No onions for you? No for me, I just want okay. some to tomato. I could have put cheese on it. Okay, uh, tomatoes, tomatoes yes. Yeah, please. All right, and I put an onion for me and Marianne. We like the onions. <laughs> And the tomato, and what else we like put on? We could put on also a few strips of bacon if you like that. Oh yeah, let's see, why not? Okay, let me throw <laughs> them in here, we can. warm them up a little bit. All right. Okay, and what else we need, that's it. I huh? think that just the top of the bun. Okay, the best the top of the bun <laughs> here. Perfect, okay, this one is for you. Oh, thank you, I'm so excited. For us. All right, and squish it well together. My mouth is literally okay, full now, of water. Can I do gonna, this? Okay, wait one second. I'm gonna oh. cut it. I'm gonna show you how good they are. Don't get so excited. Oh, the bacon. I forgot the bacon. I'm sizzling out bacon here in the pan. Look at that. Ooh, you like bacon? Yeah, I love. Are you kidding me? I love bacon. All right, I give you a, one bacon here Thank too. You, sir? Okay, perfect for your diet. <laughs> All right, and mine I too. I can cheat every now and then. Huh? I can cheat every now so and then. So now you know how to make the perfect burger. So now you get them in your home, and you know what I do with the knife? I have an electric knife here. Oh. And you can cut them. Oh, we didn't put them in right. Let me do it for you. Okay. Okay. Look oh. at that, look how juicy, see that? Look at that. Look at that, you guys. Look, it's gonna run here, look at that, see that? <laughs> look at that. I love it, it's so juicy. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> mm. I was ready to dive over this table to get this too. All right, here we go. The ultimate test, you guys. A juicy, how are you? Mm. It's so good. I'm, oh I God. cooked it. You liked it really medium, so I cooked yeah. it a little more for you. Oh, thank you. Mm. Oh, mm. 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 I am telling you what, it just melts in your mouth. Yeah. Man, you have not had a burger until you've tried these. These are amazing. Uh, mm. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Look at that, you guys. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. It is so juicy, it's so tender, it's so delicious. Like this is gonna be just the ultimate summer treat. You'll just yeah. be like, whether you're cooking it on the stove, they're going on the grill, you got people coming over, maybe it's for the 4th of July, you're like, man, I'm gonna serve some seriously great burger. And okay. this one is absolutely delicious. I know. L look at that, I just cut it now. Mm -hmm. Look Look at in mm. here, see that? <laughs> Do we get a close up? Mm -hmm. Look at that. I, I can put it here, and look, look, you can see the juice dripping down your burger. And it's all the meat. I love it. You squish it a little bit, mm. and the juices go into the bread. It's like a perfect hamburger. Oh my gosh, you guys. Now, also too, part of what I'm doing is, um, I don't eat a ton of bread lately. I'm yeah. trying to watch it. But beef and burgers are very much on my menu because they're so high in protein, and so I can eat a lot of those. You know, if you've, you ever go to this grocery store and you're just buying basic 
you know, hamburger meat. This is so many levels higher than that. And it's, it's rarefied air is what I kind of call it. Because typically, if you go into one of Chef's restaurants and you want to get a Kobe Wagyu style beef burger, yeah. it's going to cost you a small fortune. This is what's so exciting. Well, the exact same burgers that he serves at the Oscars are exactly what you're getting at home. So, no. you know, you're not going to serve something um, inferior. I, I wonder if they can get the close up here from my yeah. burger. Look can we get a close up over here? Look at that. Mm. Oh. See the juice falling out on the thing? It, look at that. That's the juice on the hot plate here. <laughs> it, it is amazing. <laughs> you know, so you good. get a burger like that. I don't eat a lot of hamburgers, but once in a while I eat the hamburger. Ed, I really like it medium rare. And this is the perfect way to eat it because it stays nice and juicy. Even when you cook it well done, you know, it's yeah. nice and juicy. Well, let's talk a little bit about the beef, too. Because obviously that's a big deal. It's the Wagyu Kobe style. Yeah. It's all Midwestern uh, beef, you know, from the Middle West. Mm -hmm. So it's really a, the best beef. Black Angus mixed in with some uh, Kobe style beef. So you're going to get great, great flavor, richness, Whatever you want, it can't get any better. Yeah, and they're not, if you usually eat really dry, really bad burger, it is so great to be able to go to that whole Wagyu Kobe style beef because that's what the world wants. I mean, that really is the best of the best. And obviously, Chef is a multi-Michelin award winning um, chef. You have beautiful restaurants that really yeah. specialize in beef. He's not going to bring anything to you in this kind of bigger format unless it's not the very best he can get his hands yeah, on. Yeah, if I wouldn't eat it, you know, I wouldn't bring it to you. You know, I like a good burger. I also eat it sometimes at home. Marianne, do we have more salad, like protein style? Protein style with no bread. I'm going to show them one, how I eat it too. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Like a lettuce wrap almost. Uh-huh. Exactly. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Okay, guys, let me give you a quick update of where, what we're doing right now. So again, Chef's here. This is the very first time we've done this as a today's special. It's actually the lowest price we've ever done as well, because we have offered this just on a couple rare occasions, and they've completely sold out. You have your choice of the 12-pack, or you can do the 24. If you go the 24, it's a $2 saving, basically $2 saving off the 12 pack so your better value is go bigger if you can do it also please note we've got flex pay on this we have free shipping on this which is awesome so you can spread your payments out over three months it'll ship for free if you want the 24 pack we also have auto ship on the 12 or 24 the auto ship for the 24 i love you guys when you see a value like this and you understand how important that title is you're all in you're like i'm getting it this is awesome if you get the 24 24 pack on auto ship that is the most popular right now so again you lock in tonight's price and this value is only good for a single day we're not post selling it we didn't oh, pre-sell it yeah. you can get this and get it now also please note it is 5.3 ounces yeah. these are huge burgers like look here it is frozen look how big it is that's my hand and i have a decent sized hand you can just see how giant that burger is now chef thank yeah. you very much because i like the fact that you individually pack these yeah totally because that way you keep them in the freezer when you're ready you take them out and leave it out for a little bit if you eat them well done obviously you can cook them frozen too so mm -hmm. just put it cook it a little longer and that's so simple so now i'm gonna show you the way i eat it often too and we're gonna make a few more hamburgers. Oh, that's a nice idea too, I love that. Yeah. Um, we also have a, an extra ship date. You can get them shipped right now and get auto ship, or you actually can get them shipped on June 19th if you wanna do that, so it's closer to 4th of July. You'll get them by 4th of July for sure. And both of those, you can get auto ship on the 12 or 24. So you've got actually two different ship windows if you'd like. For me, I would get it immediately as soon as I can. And right now, just FYI, I know we're really busy. If you guys can use automated ordering or go to your TV screen and use our scan code using your phone that's going to put you to the very front of the line especially if you want the 24 count on auto ship you're going to keep getting that incredible price per burger as long as you stay in the auto ship system and you can cancel that if you want to so chef you're like one side let it sit then yeah flip. let it cook it on the side cook it for just like a steak, you know, for maybe four or five minutes on each side and you are done. And don't forget, fresh ground pepper makes everything taste better. And one of the great things to cook any kind of steak, whatever, is our cast iron skillet. 
So you can get that too. We have it here in stock now. I'm gonna and show it's brand you later. New. Oh, yeah. my oh you lost your pants. <laughs> no, it's the, it's my dress, my <laughs> apron. He lost his apron. <laughs> it has it has a, a very bad string around it, so thick that oh yeah, it doesn't stay. Don't want to hold on. Yeah, um, and the cast iron's coming up. It's actually brand new, chef. Yeah. So this is the first time we're launching the cast iron pan. It's beautiful, by the way. Yeah. Um, it's completely enameled, and you don't have to season it. Thank exactly. you, chef. Exactly, and it keeps it nice and clean and clear so it's really good and then if you make the burgers you make them the way you like them for example this when you touch it you can see when it's soft it's more on the rear side if it gets harder then uh, uh, you it's more on the well done side so it's all up to you so you have now everything ready you know what we do what else do I do I gonna put some, rel some remoulade or mayonnaise, what do you like? Mayonnaise? Oh, yeah, let's do some mayo this round. I've already, by the way, I've already eaten half of one. Okay. And I'm ready to eat a second one. It's that good. Okay. <laughs> they picked the right host to launch this. Uh, I'm telling well, you what. You know what? I'm a good old Midwestern Ohio girl. I'll eat burgers all day long. <laughs> Once you taste these burgers, you're going to eat them all the time. You, you know, know what the problem oh, is, Chef? Yeah. Is now when I go to a different restaurant, or God forbid, like a drive through I'm ruined for life. Thank you. I just yeah, want to let you know. You know, know what? <laughs> you cannot compare that. You just cannot compare. It's like you have Hong Kong food or you have things like from a drive through it's not the same experience. No, so it's you cannot awful. compare it. It's funny, I wish we would have a drive through hamburger out here. Oh, because yeah, if we yeah, had that by sure. itself, you would see how lame it is yeah. compared to how thick and juicy and beautiful. In fact, we were really nerd. We looked up, on my nerds team, we looked up how much the most famous drive through hamburger is, just for the hamburger. Yeah. It's $5. Yeah. Per hamburger here, and remember, we're talking a big, juicy, thick, you saw how large these yeah. are. This comes out to four dollars and we did the math and 80 cents per burger. I'm telling you, you're going to go here. You will never, ever go through a drive through again and get one of those nasty burgers there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, Father's Day is a great idea, guys. Fourth of July. And Think of all the barbecues, all the picnics. How fun to serve you, you know this what style. The, you know what is so great with that? Mm. Because you can have it in your freezer, and whenever you want to do your burger, you take them out an hour before, let it sit on your kitchen counter, and then you grill them or saute them or barbecue them or broil them. You decide what you want to do. You know, Chef, I got a question to ask you. It's amazing because yeah. a lot of times when you're cooking hamburgers at home, they start out big patties yeah. and then they end up, even at home, they end up these little teeny patties. Yeah. Notice yours. No, no. They don't shrink in no, size. it doesn't shrink. That's fantastic. And why is that? Again, the, just the because level of quality. Because we emulsify the meat so that way it stays that way, you know, so okay. the, the, the juices stay inside and normally when it reduces too much, the water goes away and then it's dry. The huh? fat goes away and then it's dry. Yep. So, all right, let's build our burger onion. All right, ketchup we Can have. Can I have pickles and tomato on mine this time? Huh? Can I have pickles and tomato this time? Pickles and tomatoes, yes, whatever sir. you say, you get. <laughs> Thank you. And he's also making a medium for me, which I really yeah. appreciated. <laughs> it's nothing like having a short order cook actually be one of the world's I most know, famous you, chefs. You have your own private chef. I do. Okay. Just, someone take a picture. This is quite the moment. <laughs> okay. The pickle, tomatoes. Pickles and tomato on mine, please. <laughs> okay. And you want yours without, and I'm going to make mine in here. Uh, protein style without the bread. You know, a lot of people these days, they don't have, uh, they don't want to eat the extra bread, so then they have it just like that. Well, also, Chef, think about it. If you just want to use these for like, I mean, I wouldn't use them for a sloppy joe, yeah. but if you want a really darn good sloppy joe, great for that. Yeah. If you're doing chili, like almost knowing it's a Kobe Wagyu style beef, mm, I probably wouldn't want to put it with anything. You just want to really taste the burger. Yeah. But seriously, Chef, if I wanted to make some really darn good tacos, yeah. I no, could go sure. ahead and, and You and can make it. a pasta sauce with that if you want to. Yeah. So you decide really so many things we can do. Right. Okay, what do you want on it? I said. Uh, that's, uh, you did, we got mayo and we got mustard. And mustard? Yeah, we got that. I mustard? think we're good. Did you want to cut it? already on yours? I no, think not so. on yours. Okay. I don't think so. Maybe. Okay. Then I'd love you to cut that again. Okay, good. I cut it for you. Ketchup. Oh, 
This is summer to me. Yeah. This is summer <laughs> yeah, right 100%. here. Isn't it? Just bright, beautiful summer tomatoes, gorgeous bright green lettuce, yeah. and a burger that you're just going to flip over. Um, do you want right. to cut that one too? All right. Now, I show you, if you want to share a burger, you know, sometimes at home, you say, ah, I don't know if I should eat a whole hamburger, you know? So <laughs> you put skewers in here, and then I have an electric knife. I don't know if you still have some, but I love to cut, cut it with that because it cuts it so perfect. And noisy, normally it cut it on a cutting board, <laughs> but we have a plate. Look, now, at, oh, look at that. Look at that, you guys. <laughs> All right. So, Every time, you want to say, let me show Susan's, you. Let me show you guys. Okay. Look at this, you guys. Here we go. You ready? I got to bring. I actually got to bring a plate over here so it'll yeah. take the juice. But look at this. You ready? Oh, <gasps> come on. Now you're sitting. Yeah, right. Even the crew is drooling. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's like, "Oh my gosh!" I can't imagine if you're sitting at home right and you're going, "No, mm, no, not good enough for me." Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and if you love beautiful beef, if you love beautiful hamburgers, and it's so all American and it's so much yeah. fun to serve, your guests are going to flip. They're going to say, "Are you doing those burgers again? Can I come over?" Hey, are you cooking out this weekend? Can I come over? Because they're going to know your house has auto. Ship. And then just if you're by yourself, though, Chef, yeah. what a neat treat, even if you're all by yourself, you're cooking for a couple exactly. people. Exactly. It's so simple, so easy. And if you are on a diet, you know, pure protein is good. Even my son, Alexander, he loves the hamburgers, but he is watching his weight all of a sudden. I think he must have a girlfriend or something. <laughs> so he puts mustard on it, a little bit of the remoulade. Mm. Okay, and a little yeah. ketchup always. Should we make some more hamburgers, Marian? Yes. I forgot to make cheeseburgers. I don't know why. Oh, man, Marian, this is like... Have All you right. had one yet? No. Oh, God. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> it's so darn good, you guys. I'm not kidding you. Oh. All right. Now, look at that. Here we have a protein-style burger. So I put it right in here. Okay, let me put it up here on the cutting board here. Mm -mm. Clean up a little bit here. Thank you. And look at that. I said I'm gonna cut it on the cutting board on the plate. <laughs> look, look at that burger here, see that? Right there, Sean. Look at that. Mm. Mm -hmm. The juice in it and everything, you eat that. Even half of one is enough. Yeah, it, it but is. But if, if you don't eat bread, a lot of people, you know, in the summer want to be on a diet, you eat it in lettuce leaf, get some iceberg lettuce or romaine lettuce. And Gosh, that's gorgeous. All right, guys, so yes. let me kind of break down what's happening and what we have going on. Um, you can get a couple different options here. So first off, you're picking, do I want the 12 pack or the 24 pack? The 24 pack is basically $2 less than the 12 pack per burger. So if you can swing it, go for the whole ball of wax. Now you can pick auto ship on both of those too. So if you want to lock in for as long as you stay in auto ship and as long as we can keep shipping it to you, so it's basically a year or more, um, you get it now because you're getting a one-day price and this is the only time we're doing this and have done it as a today's special for the whole year. Now, on top of that, you have a couple ship dates. You can ship immediately. I'm in that camp. Or you can actually start your shipments on June 19th, a little bit closer to 4th of July. We do guarantee Father's Day. We do guarantee 4th of July. And then in that auto ship, you just keep getting the savings. Now, all of our auto ship has free shipping on everything, by the way, in auto ship. But all of our food has free shipping right off the gate as well. So you're saving a ton of money. You're going to get them frozen. Actually, they have a shelf life in the freezer for up to 12 months. So when you get these, it's not like you have to get through them all right away. You can just have this amazing collection of Wagyu Kobe style burgers, you know, at the ready, whether you have 10 people coming over, a whole giant party, or it's just you and a partner at home. This is how you get exquisite, exquisite burgers. I mean, it's so far and above anything you can buy locally. It just kicks a restaurant's mm. you know what. This is amazing. And remember, this is the exact same beef that Chef uses at his famous Oscar party for his burger sliders. Yeah. You've been doing that Oscar party for how long now, Chef? 30 years. 30 years. Yeah. It's one of the most sought after parties to get invited to. Yeah. And this one is all the big celebrities. And Chef would never serve a beef to them that wasn't represented. Yeah. 
representative that's of the very Tuesday, best doctor. That's not rich, so Perfect. you want everything. Mm -hmm. And seasoned well, so fresh ground pepper, it's always a good thing for your burger. Yeah. It tastes really good having that little bit of pepper on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. By the way, his salt and pepper grinders are in stock. They are my all-time favorite. I have it at home, use them all the time. They work brilliantly. You can get those. We'll do the cast iron pan brand new. It's coming up. We also have some other brand new items. I've got clearance items still in the show. We have a huge, huge cookware set in stainless steel. We're gonna have on sale tonight, best price we've ever done. So there's a lot of treats still in store for our two hours with Chef. So Chef, I don't know. I didn't make cheeseburgers yet, so we oh, still we have, have to make oh, you some know what? cheeseburgers, too. I forgot about that. I'm now a full burger in, and I'm still going uh, strong. <laughs> 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 I'm uh, telling you guys, it's, Chef, this, it's such a dramatic difference when you eat exquisite beef versus a regular hamburger meat. Yeah, it's, you know, if you want to get a good burger, look at that. <laughs> Can we look in here? Yep, there you go, right look there. At, oh, I get away from the sun here. <laughs> here, get a close up. Okay. <laughs> Do we see it, how juicy it is? <laughs> it's the smoke, it's, I, I can see the smoke. This okay, way. here it's better. <laughs> All right, look at that. There you go. Oh my gosh! Look at that. I mean, you get a burger like that, I don't think, not even at Spago, it looks that good, I think <laughs> I so. Don't, I agree with you. And we charge $38 for the burger. <laughs> That's right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't tell the folks at Spago. Right, it's worth it. People come and eat it, you know, because it's so good. Yeah. And if, if you're not familiar, Chef has a multitude of beautiful restaurants around the world yeah. that spe specifically serve steak and beef and all that kind of good stuff. I mean, it's called cut. And what's exciting is, again, the level of quality that people expect in his really fancy restaurant are exactly what he's giving you here. You guys, this is rarefied air for you and me. I mean, Kobe Wagyu style beef, are you, are you kidding me? That is some of the most coveted meat that you can buy in the world. And Chef is able to get it and he brings yeah. it to you. We have an incredible value tonight. And I know we're busy because you all are loving those hamburgers. I know, it could not be better. And look at that, even after cooking them 10 minutes ago, when you cut into it or bite into it, this is, you think you're gonna go to heaven. I mean, it's crazy not to get that. And you know, once it's gone, it's gone. I won't be here until the end of the summer. Okay, look, look at that. I'm gonna come one more time over here. Look, do you want a burger or do you want this burger? <laughs> that is... <laughs> Gosh, that, that is so look good. At that. So good. Ah, oh, look at that! Oh my gosh! Imagine just getting uh, your lips around that. Burger. I can hear you. I can hear you. <laughs> ah, it's getting warm in All here. Right, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, you put the toppings on, and I also love the fact too if you just do the lettuce wrap. I mean, that, still, here's the thing: if you're trying to watch your your food intake, which I have been doing recently for about a month or so, um, I don't eat a lot of bread. I am tonight because yeah. I'm just treating myself. But typically, I do the lettuce wrap. If you take it, and you want to use if you want to use it for taco meat. It's gonna be the best, like your mouth will just, just exactly. it's, it's Very like good idea. I mean, the taco would be perfect with that meat, yeah. Fantastic, yeah. right? You Anything. can make sauce, you can make bolognese sauce, like my wife Galila, sometimes when she cooks at home mm -hmm. and she wants to make a, a, a pasta bolognese for the kids, and she makes it really well because she has good rosemary and everything in it, mm. and then she has the meat. So it's Delicious. so simple, yeah. so easy. Uh, yeah, anything you use a hamburger meat for, you're now gonna elevate it. So think yeah. about all those recipes. Honestly, I wouldn't hide any kind of thing over this meat. I would just serve it as a burger or serve it as a wrap because it is the essence of some of the absolute best beef you'll ever, ever eat. In fact, you saw it too. I'm gonna squeeze this one again. The juices are amazing. Look at this. I'm gonna, this one's been sitting here for a couple minutes too. Yeah. But watch this. I'm gonna squeeze this so you can see it. Oh, come on. If, oh, <laughs> that is a happy summer barbecue. That is a moment where everyone, you know what it is, everybody sits around the picnic table and they take that bite and then they have this moment where they go, oh, like they look at you and go, what burger are you serving me? And you're like, oh, it's a Kobe Wagyu beef style burger. Yeah, yeah just a little something, something. Oh, I tell them that's your secret. You don't wanna <laughs> tell it to anybody. It's that's your right. secret, 100%. All right, look at the cheeseburger here, the oh. cheese. Oh. Perfectly oh, melted on top. Yeah. Ooh. So good. 
All right, so Shut while up, Chef's she's doing that, let me just give you a quick review. The 24 count in the auto ship, and you guys are super smart on that, is the most popular. Here's the story. That's only $4, we figured it out, $4.80 versus the 12 back, which is $6.67. So you're saving almost $2 per burger by going to the 24 pack. And if you want that auto ship where we can't raise the price on you, you can stay in as long as we can ship it to you, which is a year or more, this is the moment to do it. Yeah. We have a one day deal and it's the only time we'll do this for the entire year. So please grab that auto ship and we always have a lot less auto ship than we do single ships. Now if you just want to get a 12 or 24 pack to try it out, sure, go ahead, fine, no problem. But please don't miss out, especially if you want to lock in that superior, superior price. FYI, go through a drive through the most famous drive through burger place with this little fat, flat, awful tasting cardboard burgers. It's $5 for a regular burger. Yeah. Here for under $5 in the 24 pack, you're getting that Kobe Wagyu style beef, which is just, I'm telling you, out of the world. Hey, if it's good for the Oscars, yep. it's probably good for our table too, right? All right, guys, Absolutely. stay right there. Like, let me cut one more one a cheeseburger. More. You show. did not see it. So the good thing is when you want to cut in half, get some skewers so that way it will hold your meat together. So even if you cut it with a serrated knife, whatever it is, yep. but I'm lucky I have my electric knife here. There we go. All right, and look at that. Here we have our fantastic <laughs> cheeseburger. Look at that. See that? Oh my God. You can, and I get to do this again oh next time. Oh my God, look, look, at, look, at, look at the juice oh, coming out. Oh, it's so good. All right, we're back with more Wolfgang Pug. Stay yeah. with us. <laughs> Join us for 24 hours of What a Girl Wants Beautiful You Edition, featuring super savings and beauty tips from some of your favorite brands. Feel beautiful inside and out during What a Girl Wants Beautiful You Edition, Sunday at midnight. Get the best deals on the things you love with the HSN card. As an HSN card VIP, you'll get all kinds of perks, like VIP financing on so many items, plus extra flex on every item under $369, all day, every day, and at least eight VIP savings events a year. Includes fraud protection, and there's no annual fee. Apply now and instantly get $10 off when you're approved. Call 1-800-695-1418 or visit hsn.com slash hsncard. Food has always been my passion, but the truth is, even in the world's best kitchens, the tools can really make or break a chef. That's why I've developed this incredible, innovative line for HSN. Let's turn the everyday into gourmet. Inspiration comes to me from everywhere. It's not just about recognizing a trend, but knowing it will become tomorrow's classic. I love bringing you my favorites. Whether it's hand-picked gemstones, or fashion must-haves straight from my closet. These are beautiful things that inspire me. Style is self-expression, and it's a thrill to share my collections with you. Only on HSN and at hsn.com. Chef, you just think of the name, and who do you think of? Wolfgang Puck. Okay, oh is, my is God. that not a feast for the Look eyes? I mean, literally, you could cry. I want people to have a good time. This is HSN after all. You know, whatever you want, you got it. That's funny. Look at it. Oh, oh we made a mess here. That looks like it's a girly exercise. <laughs> <laughs> they wrote a book called Skinny in the Kitchen. <laughs> We're gonna open some wine soon. I think I'm gonna need it after, <laughs> after they're hiding everything from me here. Do you know this guy? Wolfgang Puck is here. We're so glad to have you Thank here, Wolfgang. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Wolfgang Puck, a legend in your own time. Hey, I'm too young to be a legend. <laughs> I'm a, a junior legend, baby. <laughs> junior legend. Tonight is a reason to celebrate. No question right, about cheers, it. Cheers, everybody out there. It's because of you out there Absolutely. I'm here. Cheers. cheers. Gosh, the videos are great. <laughs> I know. Uh, celebrating 25 years. We're actually doing something very unusual. It's a 25th year anniversary yeah. celebration with, of course, acclaimed chef Wolfgang Puck. Chef, we've already sold a whole bunch of your brand new cast uh, iron okay, skillet. Okay, you know what? Everybody needs a cast iron skillet at home. First of all, this one is so reasonably priced. I mean, what is the price? I can see that. $39.95. Yeah, $39. Amazing. You know, if you get Le Creuset, it would be $139 at least. Yep. So yep. this is really an amazing pan. Why? 
uh, it keeps the heat totally even everywhere and it stays hot. So if you put cold meat, cold chicken, fish, whatever is in there, you are gonna keep the heat. It doesn't gonna cool down mm -hmm. and it will sear it perfectly. Here we made some hamburgers. I like my hamburgers, uh, my hamburgers, my hot dogs grilled much more than steamed, but that's my preference. You know, some people are different now. Uh, this nice. one are pretty big uh, dogs here. <laughs> They're really big. Yeah, I, I get the double one here. All right, don't forget, <laughs> Greg, Greg, you're hungry. Put a little mustard on here. All right. And then a little ketchup. Do you like ketchup on it, Greg? Where are you? Absolutely. Yeah, he's all in. Okay, give me a little ketchup then. Hey, Chef, let's talk a little bit about the pan. Number one, you don't have to season it. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yeah. Only because I got to tell you, my husband brought traditional cast iron and it rusted. Yeah. And it was a pain. It yeah, was really no, no, hard totally. to clean. Then you, you're not sure if you should use it or not use it. So you would yell at me and make me nervous. Because cast iron is really porous, you know. Okay. So this one, the enamel is not porous, so the thing does not stick in. Thank you, thank you. But now we have our... Because oh. it's enamel coated on the inside and the exactly. outside, right? Exactly. So it's coated so that way it's easy to clean and it doesn't rust when you put it away. Also, the nice thing I like about this is... Oh, you is like a little it, onions too, all right. <laughs> um, chef, this can go on any surface. So you uh, can put it on a grill. Yeah, you, you can put it on a grill. You can bake in it. You can roast in it. You can do anything you want. But what it's great to sear things in it because it stays really hot, you know. So this is really even heating. You can see how even brown my chicken breasts are here. Do we have a little plate to put it on? You know, Chef, you said this earlier too. Maybe yeah. you don't like to, maybe if you live in an apartment, you don't have a grill to grill outside. This is gonna give you that kind of grilled effect yeah. because it is a grill pan, obviously. Exactly, and you know the funny thing is when I cook at home sometimes, I say, ah, I don't wanna go outside and turn on the grill. I have a charcoal grill and the grill uh, and the gas on. I say, oh, it's too much, it takes too long. Right. I put that on the fire and in five minutes, it's, it's hard, it's done. And it's Look, nice, it works on induction. Perfectly even cooked, yeah. On induction, on gas, you name it. I mean, literally, you could put it on yeah. your grill, you could put it on a fire, like <laughs> if, you're, if you're doing a more traditional camping, that yeah, would be perfect. Yeah, you can take it with you, whatever you like. And anything you cook in it, comes out perfect. And you know, even if it's seared here, all you have to do is put a little water in here and put it in your sink and then scrub it out and you are done. That's nice. And that enamel, again, no seasoning. Yeah. You know, people love to cook with cast iron. A lot of people have inherited their see, cast look, iron from their family. Look, it lifted up already. Oh yeah, look see at that. that. Yep. I look don't at what you watch. Them. Yeah, watch what happens. Yeah. And you see how hot it is. Look at that. Look at the pan, see that? That's great. By itself, I didn't even touch it, so <laughs> it's just go back and forth and it clean. So easy to clean. Now, if that would be an iron, a cast iron with no glaze on it, it would be difficult to do it that way because you can see that. Look at that. Oh, that's fantastic. That's awesome. Yeah. Also, I like the two pour spouts on either side. And there's a helping handle. Yeah, I mean, exactly. This is genuine cast because iron. Because they are heavy. Cast iron is heavy. So you can lift it like that. Makes it easier. Yeah. And again, if you're pouring it out, you've got pour spouts on either side. Well, you'll see it right here. There's a pour spout and there's a pour spout. Yeah. And again, if you want to talk about something that can really cook up a storm and you'll use for like decades, you'll pass this down to generational uh, cooking because a lot of people do with their cast iron. This is your chance to get it. It's 100% brand new. It's got, I'll turn it over so you can see it. It's a beautiful black enamel finish on the back. And again, this is that ultimate pan. I think it makes a great Father's Day gift. My husband loves to cook with cast iron. Yeah. I hated it because it was rusty and he would yell at me because I'd try to clean it. And yeah. I'm like, but he did. I get, he would yell at me all the time, stop cleaning it. I'm like, that's disgusting. Yeah. I don't want a dirty pan. He goes, you're ruining the seasoning. Yeah. I made him throw it out. It was so bad after a while. I'm like, I can't even stand this. This yeah. is the fancy stuff. And you were talking about that famous French company yeah. that's renowned for yeah, their yeah, cast no, for iron. Sure. Yeah. And, and it's very good. You know, I'm not knocking them up by any means. They're right. very good, but it is super expensive. Right, you know, right. I mean, it's at least three times more than this one. Why do you think it's so beloved, this type of enamel Because cast that's iron? the original way people
people used to cook. You know, it's indestructible. You're gonna have it for the rest of your life and it has totally even heat. So this one is a grill pan. So if you wanna grill your, your meat, your fish, whatever in there, you can just put a little spray on the fish and you are done. You know what? A lot of people with cast iron love to start and then finish it in the oven. Yeah, you can finish it in the oven at any temperature you like. So if you want to make your pork chops, your grilled salmon, you name it, you just put it in, season it with a little salt and pepper. What oil do you like to use as a base? I, I use generally cheap olive oil. Okay. You know, I don't use the most expensive one for that because it's not necessary. I use the expensive one for my salads or if I drizzle it a little bit at the end on fish or things like that. Nice, all right guys, so with uh, the sale price, this is again brand new, first time chefs ever brought this to us, it's $39.95 and the size of this is 10 inches. And the size is nice and I yeah. like the deeper, um, now, look, the deeper well. Look the sear on my oh, lamb chop there, that. see that? Can see that's the difference with cast iron. Yeah. See that? So I love, when I get meat, I love to sear it really well. Gosh, that that way good. you get the extra flavor of the caramelization and makes a whole difference. So yeah. you saw me making my burgers in there. Now we are sauteing meat uh, from chicken breast to hot dogs to pork chops and lamb chops, you name it. I really like the shape of this too. Yeah. So it's not too big, it fits easily underneath, it fits into every oven, so it's just perfect. Yeah, and remember it works on induction, you can put this directly yeah. on the grill. Cast iron is amazing. I get why people love cast iron, but for me, it just didn't work. This works, because yeah. you get the benefits of the cast iron, you get those amazing grill marks, you get the effect of grilling, and you get the durability of having cast iron, but easy cleanup, because it's all coated, which yeah. is uh, fantastic, so you don't have to fight with it, and you don't have to season it. That, that to me is a really big deal. <laughs> Do you ever cook a cast with uh, cast iron at home, traditional cast yeah, iron? Yeah, 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 no, totally. Yeah. No, no, I don't, I have all enameled ones. You have all enameled, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. my wife doesn't like it. When she looks in the pan and she sees rust in the corner or whatever, I yeah, hate oh, it. I'm gonna kill somebody, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I felt, I'm like, this is disgusting. Yeah. And then I try to scrub it with soap and gosh, Craig would go crazy on me. Yeah. He's like, you can't put soap and scrub it. You don't do that with cast iron. So needless to yeah. say, cast iron had a very short, short life in our household. Yeah. This, he would love though. Yeah, All right no. guys, less than a thousand now remaining, $39.95 with the three flex. I need to give you a quick update on the burgers. If you want the 24 count on the auto ship option, so you keep getting it every 60 days you can change that you can fix it that by far is outselling every other option we have and we're close to about 700 sets ordered in just this hour so if you're watching yeah. and you saw the presentation just want to give a quick update all right chef you ready to move on i'm ready to move on let me just take the all right you do that i'm going to talk house. about this little cute kettle right here and you know how i'm going to present it final quantities is just a little quick mention i'm going to read some reviews all right there's a ton of five-star reviews mc in florida says perfect for one person or two love the tea infuser and she says i can prepare my own flavors of tea jasmine in Cal colorado said cute teapot lovely oh. color and size this size makes the perfect cup for one person looks nice on the stove too isn't this adorable yeah. like no one wants to put yeah. this away it looks so good and again it comes with the infuser so you can do your own custom teas i just love this pot and even look at the bottom of it completely finished isn't that cool that's with of course that's an engraved logo on the bottom so it has that little extra elegance so if you'd like it, it we're down to final quantities $24.95 <laughs> just want to give you a quick little mention anymore, of yeah. that all right, I want to mention a show that I have, and it's part of something that I love. I mean, I love doing all these different variety of shows, and one of my other passions happens to be crafting and being creative, and I love sharing with others. What I love most now, though, is you can share your creativity with me. Please go to my HSN Gets Crafty page with Suzanne, that's the name of it, and ask to join our, our group. I'd love us to hit 8,000 group members. We're so darn close. You'll see other people's ideas and inspiration. You can ask questions. Everybody jumps on to help people when they don't understand something of our crafting world. And also you'll find out about my Tuesday night show. I do almost every Tuesday night. We're celebrating all year long a very unique 25th anniversary with one of the world's most famous chefs, Wolfgang Puck. I've been blessed to work with him for 18 of those 25 years. And he is just one of the most wonderful people I've ever met in my life. And he's also very, very funny. <laughs> Both on camera and off camera. All right, this next item. 100% near and dear to my heart. 
We have not done this in probably more than a year and it's better than ever. The first time Chef ever offered this gorgeous slate charcuterie tray, I bought four of them. I'm not kidding you. And the reason I did was I stocked up for gifts. I have a lot, in fact, I was at a birthday today. I've got a lot of people, you know, they invite you over for the weekend or come over for dinner. Can you imagine send, taking a charcuterie tray or a cheese tray or what have you to a party and saying, oh, by the way, you get to keep it. So now this is back in stock. Now here's what's different. At this price, I did not get these three extra gorgeous stainless steel cheese knives. You actually get one, two, three different styles. I did not get the chalk that goes with it because you can write on this, but this was the design that I picked up. And I recommend now that we have them back in stock for the first time after selling out multiple times before, grab these. You'll love them for your own entertaining, but my gosh, if you're going away, Chef, for a weekend and you want to take a housewarming gift or a thank exactly. you gift, it's and phenomenal. Exactly, and it's beautifully packaged, so you don't have to do much. You bring that like that, and yeah. they're going to say, oh, wow. Or you, you even can make up a little uh, tray with some charcuterie, some cheese, And even, vegetables. Chef, you totally elevated. These weren't even available yeah. in my original one uh, I bought. Yep. Yeah. Look at these. Let's talk about all three of these, because they're yeah. beautiful. It's a perfect cheese knife for different cheeses, so uh, harder ones, uh, softer ones, so cheese pokey. Now, listen, if you were to go out and buy just cheese knives of this yeah. quality, you're going to spend more than $34 yeah, on it, too. So, this is amazing. Yes. And it has the stainless handle, so it's really perfectly yeah. uh, built and easy to carry. Even if you put a teapot on it with some teacups, you bring it outside, you put sandwiches on it, we put our, our hamburgers on it. You decide what you use it for, but yeah. I know in my house we use it all the time. If I have to bring a breakfast or lunch for my wife like she was just sick uh, so Aww. she stayed in bed so yeah. I made her lunch where did I do I bought some tea and I bought her a little pasta right on this one and it's nice oh you brought it to her and so she it, feel yeah, better it, just to make her feel better I love the chalk that's so fun that you yeah. can write on this and it's kind of I, especially when you're doing cheeses so people know what they're eating yeah because sometimes how, they wonder how about if you do it for a birthday your wife's birthday you make a tray and you write on it happy birthday Suzanne and you bring her a little cake or something uh, and you know what you will get lucky for sure <laughs> <laughs> well let's show the burger again because this is our today's special if you guys haven't yeah. seen it they're kobe wagyu style beef burgers that are out of this world how fun would that be if you're having the gang over and yeah. you bring that whole tray to the table like that just or you can make the mini burgers you know you like you cut our uh, beef like cut it in half make smaller patties and then you can put for a whole party on and people just can little just sliders. grab it little sliders like yeah. you do at the oscars yeah um here now i did keep one of these and i have it i i bought Four. One I kept, three I've given away. You know what was really yeah. fun when I gave them away? Yeah. Um, it, they, everybody went, you're kidding me. Like, it's such a beautiful gift yeah. to share with someone, and you're not breaking the bank. And remember, uh, your original set did not come with these three beautiful exactly. knives. Exactly. So now if you want to make a cheese tray, it's perfect. Even uh, if you have little pastries, you can use these knives and cut them uh, and then uh, well, that's a great serve idea. them. So it's yeah. good. And I want to show you, these These are the same quality that Chef does his steak knives when he does his cutlery. I love it, too, because Chef always puts this little finger tab, and it's got in, in, in actually embossed in here, a WP. So everything about this, like, look at this. It's got the triple screws. It's super, super elegant. These are beautiful. And how much do you spend just to buy kind of one bad cheese knife? Or how many of you have cheese knives? You don't even know where they came from. One's wooden, one's yeah. from here. It's really, I think, the most elegant set that he's done but really trust me on this I hope you will I would get multiples now that it's back in stock we've got uh, three flex pays on it which is great because it makes the best housewarming gift wedding gift if you're going to someone's home for the weekend and you say oh I'll just take a bottle of wine don't do it when you walk in with this wrapped up yeah. it's an impressive gift I know totally <laughs> and people can use it all the time so yeah. if you bring a bottle of wine for 35 bucks you know might be a pretty good wine but in half an hour, it's gone. The bottle is in the garbage, and it's gone. Right. And people are going to forget it. With this one, you're going to have it for the rest of your life. So you can have it, clean it up at home, and you're going to serve on it uh, pastries, cheese, charcuterie, you name it. Oh, and it cleans up beautifully because I use yeah. mine all the time, and it just cleans up. Yeah, it's it's very 17, easy to clean. almost 18 inches wide by 13 inches by just, you know, obviously it's it's only a, a little bit, like a um, one and seven eighths of an inch high that's going up to the handles. Yeah. By the way, the handles are beautiful, and yeah. they're easy to hold. Well, it's also great because if 
if you want to put it on, if you just set the uh, slab of slate, if you put it down, it will be very difficult. But this, you hold it so it's really easy to put it down, and it's easy to pick it up, mm -hmm. and it's easy to carry it. So yeah. this is really an important part to have the handles, because if not, you can get a piece of marble or whatever also to serve it, but it's very difficult. This is perfectly cut for your home use. And the other thing, it's easy cleanup. Yeah. Like I was worried if some stuff was gonna stain it or kind of affect it, it doesn't. No. It just cleans up beautifully, yeah. so it's no big deal. I want you to see down here below, I love it. This is a perfect way to do a true charcuterie or if you're doing a whole meat tray we did here. Yeah. And the other side, that's an entire cheese tray. Just, it's gorgeous and I'm so psyched these are back in yeah. stock. If you've got anybody's birthday coming up and you really don't know what to get them, everybody who got these, and I remember exactly who I gave them to, they yeah. opened them up and first they were like, oh, Wolfgang, Puck, that's fancy. Yeah. And they're like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. Yeah. They will use it and they love it. I promise you, I've given them as many, many gifts and I'm glad they're back in stock. But now you're getting the brand new knives nice and the yeah. chalk is included, exactly. which I didn't get in my original set. <laughs> All right, we're going to wrap up on that, guys. Don't forget your three flex on it. Only $11.65 on a major credit card and you can get this home right away. Yeah. Um, Want to mention the today special if you guys saw these unbelievably delicious hamburgers. It is courtesy of Chef Wolfgang Puck. Yeah. You have your choice of the 12 or 24 pack. Now here's what we're doing. If you want the 24 pack in auto ship, which you've got only today to take advantage of it, it is by far outselling the other options. And what did he do? This is the exact same beef that he serves at his famous Oscar party he's been doing for many, many years to all those amazing celebrities and producers and directors, all the most important people in Hollywood. Absolutely Absolutely love to be invited to that party and what do they feast on the exact same beef that you have a chance to buy tonight but he does little sliders there <laughs> yeah. these are really huge patties they're big now if you missed the presentation we're going to take another look at it coming up in about 10 minutes so and I get to eat again which I'm very happy about because it's so darn good all right chef you ready to talk about your chopper yep all right, you know what? Everybody needs a helper at home. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. what? If you have to chop everything by hand, if you want to make a salsa, if you want to make pesto or anything like that, this makes life so easy. It's very easy. You just have to pulsate it. Look at that. We're making a salsa. So you don't let it run. You just pulsate it, and in seconds, you have a salsa. So you decide how coarse you want it or how thick or how fine you want it. So look at that here. That's See that? Beautiful. You know what everybody raves about online because it's a customer pick yeah. is the glass bowl. They said yeah. it's so nice it's not plastic. Exactly. And it stays glass stays forever the way it is. So yeah. look beautiful. at that. And just FYI, the um, size of the bowl itself is five cup. That's a really nice size, actually. Yeah, it's a it? very good size. You know, if you are four people or two people or you're alone, if not, you have to put your your board out, your knife out. You have to chop it. The garlic will go into uh, under, underneath your fingernails and everything. So it's really not the best way. Yeah, I agree with you too. <laughs> and I like it because it's so simple. Yeah, totally simple. You put that on. Put the machine on top, et voila. Oh, I don't have it on yet. Okay, now. Oh, it's nice, you feel it lock into yeah, place. Yeah, you feel it locks it in. Yeah. yeah. So you wanna chop that for a, a, a sauce, for uh, if you roast something, you can do it really fine, like for a bolognese sauce, we use celery, onions, garlic, and everything, and then because it has two plates, you can chop it up fine. Look at that. That looks awesome. So, okay. and again, you get a lot of consistency with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, look, look, look here. Yeah. Let me take it out here and show you. You cannot chop that like that by hand in, in a minute. It will take you forever, you know? No way. And then the cleanup here, you have the glass jar, you just put it in the dishwasher and you're done. And Chef, do you think that prep stops a lot of people from trying recipes? For sure, because it takes so long and it's not fun, you know? I mean, when I was a kid, uh, I started out as a cook. What was, the, what was I doing? I had to chop onions and carrots and everything all day long. And I said, I don't know if I want to become really a cook. This is too boring, you know? <laughs> right, right. But with this, it uh, <laughs> makes it so much easier. So you can even crush ice in it. You can make your smoothies in there. Anything you want. What we have in here? 
Uh, oh, there's a pesto. Uh, I love a fresh pesto. Okay, all right, let's do it. Pesto. <laughs> so what do you put, love to put in your pestos? So we have pine nuts, garlic, and then we have some basil. Or you can add parsley, whatever you like. Generally, pesto is made with basil. All right, and then we put enough olive oil in here. What are you making me a drink, uh, Marianne? I hope you want to drink. All right, finally, yeah, because I think <laughs> I'm gonna have some burgers and maybe have a little smoothie with it. How huh? wouldn't that would be a good thing? Like have a little daiquiri or something uh, with it, or before it. All right, I have some oil in here already. Looks like it. Okay, see how easy. Put the cover on. A couple of neat features too. There's a silicone rim on the bottom yeah, that actually so keeps it from sliding around on your table exactly. when you're using it. Exactly. Yeah. And you'll feel it lock into place when it's ready yeah. to go. Up. A little shimmy. Yeah. <laughs> this one, why doesn't go in? Is your stem up maybe too high? <laughs> That's a personal question. <laughs> Sorry. What time is it in the morning? It's almost 1 a.m. on the East Coast. Okay. All right. Look at that. All right. Just you, you hear when it snaps in, so it's not complicated. Yeah, it is. It fits right in, and it just yeah. finds itself. And look at that. So you have the pesto. You want to make pasta. You want to make anything. Put a little pesto on top, and... Everything tastes better. You know what I love pesto on? Um, gnocchis. Yeah, gnocchis, Ooh, pasta, so good. simple grilled fish. Mm, oh, grilled salmon. Grilled yeah, chicken. So nice. And look at that. So then all you have to do is take out the plate. You can see it has two sl slices, two plates in there. And look how nice it is. You know what's nice about this too, Chef, is a lot of times these choppers have a hole in the center to hold the blade, yeah. and then stuff falls in the hole. Yeah. With this, you just it, you just set it on this little nub that's on the bottom of it, so you're never gonna have that problem. So you're really getting the full five quart capacity. So here's what we're doing. This is on sale tonight. And again, please read the reviews. I wanna read just a couple of them, Chef, if you don't mind. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Stronger e Strong Eggs in California said, this is a five-star chopper, one of the best I've ever used. It saved me so much time, especially with lots of vegetables to chop. She's exactly, talking about that. Exactly, yeah. Uh, Blue in Kentucky says, this works great. Love that it's a glass bowl, not plastic. Yeah. It's really fast and it's really quiet. Yeah. She says, I know. You can hear it here. Look at that. Isn't it? It's great for making baby food, right? Yeah, exactly. That's, I mean, it is. This motor is beautiful. Why is there two different buttons? Well, one is to chop, to pulsate, and one you put it on. So, oh, to do like yeah. that. That's how you do the yeah. baby food. Okay. Uh, another one, Jack's mom, Lisa, in South Carolina, said this is small enough to sit on my countertop. I use it over and over for salsa. It works great. That's some serious ice. Oh, you're making a snow cone. Yeah. Oh, now that's powerful. Look at that. Wow. In a second. Oh, that's awesome. And you can hear how... how, how uh, uh, Frozen the ice cubes where you yeah, put it. Yeah, they were the hard, regular, yeah. like your fridge kind of ice cubes. All right, now it's hot, 100 ice. degrees or 90 <laughs> degrees outside. Put some fresh berry juice or some uh, syrup or whatever is on it. Oh, it doesn't come out. It'd be so fun for the kids, right? Huh? You imagine them on a hot, sticky day, they're out on the porch and they're eating like a snow cone style, and it's easy to do, like really, really easy. Oh, that helps. <laughs> uh, you're, you're tricking me. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Those darn live demos. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> See? That's no worries. Look at that. Yeah. On a hot, sticky day, the kids are going to go crazy. Red, yeah, white, blue red white, and blue. Yeah. Well, uh, it's uh, our national holiday or the French holiday. The so Fourth of July. The there you of go. July. Yeah, you make your uh, little sorbet or whatever you want to make. With yeah, it. And, and guys, I'm going to come over. We actually have two colors, which I failed to mention. We have the black and we have the red. So look at all the goodies you get. Now, I want to talk right. about the blade. Okay. The blade is a double level, so everything gets chopped and gets pulled in. Have you ever had a chopper where only the stuff on the bottom and then that gets over chopped and soft? and the stuff on the top, you gotta open it and scrape to get it down. These blades are really unique because it's a double layer blade, so it's gonna cut everything evenly. You're gonna get the unit itself. We love the glass bowl. So many comments on hsn.com, loving that glass bowl. You also get the lid. So what happens is when you're done and you take this off, obviously if you're gonna store it away because you're not gonna use it right away, you get the lid to put it in the fridge for storing. You also get the little spatula to go with it so when you go to serve it or, or pull it out, you can do that. Think of every 
everything that you need to do for a recipe. I agree with Chef. I think it becomes very arduous because the prep is too long. So I don't think we're very adventurous. We skip a lot of recipes. You're looking at it going, I don't have time to do all that. With this, it's quick, it's fast, it's easy, it's quiet, and it's going to be one of the best choppers you'll own. We have the black and we have the red. Those are your two options tonight. And once again, it is on sale for the very first time in the show uh, this evening. Yeah. You know, Chef, for me, it is. I think I would, I'll do more recipes if I can prep quicker, and this allows well, you to totally. do that. Then it more, it's more fun because it doesn't take so much time to get ready to cook, actually, because right. if you want to chop vegetables like that for your bolognese, for example, or whatever you make, or for your vegetable soup, or you decide what you do, you make an onion soup or make pesto, it takes forever. If you want to make the, uh, uh, pesto 